Captain's log, stardate 51957.9. We're on our way back to Deep Space Nine, where we'll take a closer look at the mural from the temple. The Bajoran government has assured me it'll conduct a thorough investigation of the Kal Tan attack on the Gerardo Temple. Meanwhile, Odo tells me that the Carnelian Circle, a civilian medical organization on Cardassia, has sent Provost Dejar to take over the investigation regarding the two dead Cardassian soldiers we found in the bulkhead this morning. But seeing as O'Brien just found a hidden laboratory on the other side of that bulkhead, I've told Odo not to see jurisdiction just yet. I've uploaded my preliminary analysis of the Gerardo mural to your pad. It's clear the mural depicts the three orbs of the Paw Wraiths and the wormhole, but it's not clear what that relationship is. I'll set the computer to begin translating the ideograms. However, the translation will take several hours, or maybe even days. Security has completed a level four scan of the Cardassian shuttle. It is not armed. Nonetheless, we should minimize the length of their visit and monitor their activities at all times. Sir? Captain? The Carnelian Circle appreciates your cooperation in this matter. We are trying to locate all the Cardassians who went missing in action during the Bajoran occupation. The victims you discovered were actually part of Gul Dukat's elite guard. As you might imagine, there's considerable political pressure to investigate their deaths. There are those who believe Dukat might have killed them to conceal one of his more heinous war crimes. We'll return to Cardassia once we've conducted our own examination of the laboratory. Captain, Obanik's gone back to Bajor to help his brethren restore the monastery, and to study the hollow scan of the mural. According to the station schematics, the laboratory in Pylon 2 doesn't exist. The Cardassians disguise the space by making the adjoining sections appear larger than they really are. But that's not the best part. The power conduits to the lab have been rerouted, so that even the computer doesn't know it exists. <laughs> Bloody Cardis. I've completed my analysis of the soldiers' remains. They weren't beamed into the hull. Judging from the molecular disruption in their tissue and the surrounding metal, it appears the Cardassians and the bulkhead were struck by a concentrated spatial distortion field. The question is, what caused the distortion field? Sir? Emissary? Sir? It surprises me that the Cardassians would send Carnelian Circle specialists to retrieve the bodies of two low-ranking soldiers. Unless they weren't mere soldiers. On the other hand, if the Cardassians really are here to conduct an investigation, this might be even more serious than we think.
sir. I presume the Carnelian Circle have come to retrieve their fallen comrades and investigate their mysterious deaths. I must say, that's quite a lofty honor for two lowly soldiers. Expecting Cardassian visitors, it was music to my ears. At last, I thought, I'll finally be able to shift those crates of Kanar left behind from the Cardassian occupation. Imagine my disappointment when I discovered there were only three Cardassians aboard that big shuttle. And none of them bring Kanar! It's like my father always said, when you're looking to make a profit, you can't beat a drunk Cardassian. Emissary. 